the Jeep Badge of Honor Trail number 11 at Roush Creek Off-Road Park. Let's jump in and take a look together. I'm Kristen DeLibra from LadyJeepers.com and I share Jeep educational and knowledge-based videos for you on your Jeep journey. I'll share a little bit more in depth about Roush Creek Off-Road Park a little bit later in this video. So now onto the fun stuff, trail number 11. Let's start by, it is rated a three to four on the Jeep Badge of Honor app. The great thing about the Jeep Badge of Honor app is you can actually go in there, pull up the trail that you are looking at and get reviews from people who have done the trail on the Jeep Badge of Honor app. I personally, I also use Onyx Off-Road app that I can compare the descriptions and reviews on Onyx to multiple sources. If you head out directly to trail number 11 from the parking lot, of course, depending on your group size and the types of vehicles and the pace that you're gonna be making, you can take about 15 minutes to a half an hour to get to the start of trail number 11. The trail itself is a pretty scenic drive that starts as a wide road that drops you down through the forest and into the trees. The trail stays wider than a full width vehicle and scratching is not a concern on this trail. There is also a super fun spot on the trail that will show you your vehicle's travel and your build and your tire placement skills. At the end of trail number 11, there is an uphill climb to bring you out to the main trail. However, this is not a difficult climb and any vehicle will be able to make this. This trail is a great trail for beginners or those looking for a pretty trail to cruise around. Depending on the group, it can take about two hours to do the trail number 11 loop. If you are headed out to Crouch Creek Off-Road Park to check out any of their amazing trails or specifically their Jeep Badge of Honor trails. A couple things that you need to know before you visit, you cannot trail ride alone. You need to make sure that you have at least a group of two so that you can head out in the park and have a great time trail riding. That is for safety reasons. The park itself is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday every weekend. Do check their calendar on their website. They do host different events there. There may be something you wanna join, or you may want a quiet weekend, so that might not be the weekend that you want to jump in and join them. If you're planning to camp, there is no water available at the park itself, so no running water, no electrical hookup. Just know it will be primitive tent camping at the off-road park for the weekend. There are some great hotels and campgrounds that are not too far away if you are looking for just a little bit more for your stay. When I am navigating, I use my Onyx off-road maps, but I also use the paper map of the park that they give you when you get there. More trail and park overviews are driving your way, so hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming features that we will be rolling out just for you. So I hope to see you out on the trail.